Ramses II, also known as Ramses the Great, reigned for 66 years, from 1279 to 1213 BCE. His reign was marked by military conquests, monumental building projects, and a prolific family life. Historical records suggest he fathered around 96 sons and 60 daughters, <gasps> a staggering number by any standard. But why did Ramses II have so many children? The answer lies in his desire to secure his legacy and maintain stability in his empire. By fathering numerous offspring, Ramses ensured a multitude of heirs, reducing the risk of power struggles that could destabilize Egypt. Ramses' primary queen, Nefertari, was his great love and chief consort. Yet, he had many other wives, including Izetnofret and Mathorne Ferure, a Hittite princess. Each marriage was often politically motivated, strengthening alliances with other powerful nations. The children of Ramses II were raised in luxury and groomed for leadership from a young age. Many sons held significant military and administrative positions, extending Ramses' influence well beyond his reign. His daughters were strategically married off to nobles and foreign dignitaries, weaving a web of loyalty and power across the ancient world. Ramses II's vast progeny exemplifies how pharaohs used family ties to consolidate power and ensure stability. It reminds us that leadership and legacy are intertwined. With the personal lives of rulers shaping history, Ramses II's legacy is immortalized in his monumental constructions. The temples at Abu Simbel, carved out of solid rock, stand as a testament to his grandeur and dynasty. Each structure glorified the gods and celebrated his family, with carvings depicting his many children. So next time you think of Ramses II, remember not just the warrior king or the master builder, but also the patriarch who, through his children, cemented his place in history. And there you have it. The reasoning behind why Ramses the Great chose to have more than 140 children. For more content like this, comment, like, and subscribe to Chrono Tales.